Ray Construction Cronies. Welcome to another video. This video I'm going to be showing you guys how to frame a closet in like a matter of minutes, guys. This is the quick and easiest way to, to frame a metal closet with steel stud. So you can see these are our floor joists we're working with. They're all, it's a steel stud house. Everything's steel. This will work for any situation. The substrates might be different, but yeah, just means you need different fasteners, but that's all. So here we go. So I'm going to get the layout done on the floor there, like you've seen, and I'm going to get the all the bottom track cut and uh and and screwed down and then i'm gonna do this i'm gonna cut the exact same track but of uh, upside down okay you can see how i'm overlapping all my corners okay you you always want to overlap your corners super strong that way okay and you also get a nice little cap at the end for the outside corner there it's beautiful okay so once all that's secure you can see how i'm cutting for the three and five eighths i'm coming back four and a quarter in the side so that there's a three quarters of an inch uh, space for the drywall to go in there and i do that on both the top and the bottom track so simply what i'm doing here see how i've matched it right i've got the same track same same as it is at the top okay so centers are going to be the same. I can do all the layout from the ground. It's super simple, guys. Um, just super, super simple. And the layout, it'll be the same in a second. Like you want, I'll show you here in a second where the joints, you want to think about oh, minimal joints for drywall and easy access. So I got two pin lasers, right? That's going to pin. I'm going to pin up each corner for that top track. Boom, boom. Not only now do I have that top track set in and perfectly plumb, I got the end marks for, I got the marks now for the side pieces, for this for the side panels. So now I'm going to do put the front piece of track on, do the same thing, right? I'm lasering up corner to corner on the front piece, and it's so easy now. I don't even have to use a laser to put the side pieces on because I got the corners already lasered up, right? So I just simply slide the track on, and it's good to go. can see there how it's overlapping right i just oh, i just slide it on and it's it's in it's super easy super quick and then my layout's all done okay now just check it out on this particular job i had to screw in the floaters but i screwed them in three quarters of an inch back so the drywall can still slip in it's just because it was really wind, windy and the windows weren't in so they wanted it stayed up see so i put the channel right channel goes everywhere you can fit it okay so on that back wall there channel for sure just not putting channel in on the side walls because it um it's just not long enough and there's floaters there right your door two studs on either side of the door header is at whatever your door height is at okay just use your li uh, line laser to level that header and go off the high side okay always check high and low sides this is kind of where i'm trying to show you here you slip the drywall in the ends there and you want to join in the middle right in the middle there okay and that's going to be super easy to get your sheets in and easy for the taper to tape okay and um on the uh, front wall Okay, you you can put a joint at the top if you want, but what I would do is I'd go straight across with a full piece, the like a you know, and then have my right there. I put two legs in and have a little joint on either side of the wall, and then when you lock the floaters in on the either side, you put your side pieces in in one full piece, and there's no joints on the sides. Okay, and then you got one joint on the back, back middle, right, a couple joints on the legs, and you're done. Access granted.